And how are you liking Long Beach? I like Long Beach. Yeah. I like, I mean, that's Los Angeles County. I actually live in Orange County, but I, we're on the beach. I mean, yeah. you can't get much better than that. That's true. That's, so you, so your field brought you there, right? I moved out to California. I mean, my boyfriend had moved out here first and I was jealous that it was 75 and sunny while I was shoveling snow off my car. And so I had no job outlook while in Michigan, but I had done the um, ASRT student leadership development program Mm -hmm. and they had kind of talked about how to network. And so I had used the ASRT community board and seen somebody posting about radiation therapy. And I went through the thread and looked at all these people who were in there and a few of them happened to be from California and a couple of them were located where I was going to be moving. And so I had reached out to them through the ASRT communities and I actually got my first job through somebody I met that way. Oh, That's networking. Networking works. Yes. Networking. Powerful. Powerful, right? Networking. I, I moved to California on... November 1st, and I was on my first day of work on the 6th. That quick. Wow. Yep. You're new to the area, right? Didn't know anybody, didn't know how to drive on the 405. I had no clue what I was doing here. <laughs> I knew, I only knew my boyfriend who I had moved in with. That was it. That was and it. I still had a job within a week. It's yeah. possible. And I'm glad you mentioned it because a lot of people assume, oh, you have to know somebody, nope. you know, or, or uh, you're only there because of, of that and like no you have to create these opportunities sometimes you have to and i had flown out here to job shadow did i need the job shadow i knew what the job was no but i got my foot in the door it i had to pay for a pretty expensive flight to go do this job shadowing but it got me a job so you it, it's about being knowing what you want and getting it there's a lot of technologies out there and, and to do what we do Unfortunately, it's not for everybody, right? It, it right. takes a certain individual and certain mindset, you know, you need that. So it, like any recommendations on, on that point, like let's say somebody decides, okay, let me start this program. <laughs> Doing the radiation, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. Like you are dealing with people who are extremely sick at some times. Yeah, you'll have those patients who they're fine. They're going to be fine. But you have patients who are terminally ill and it is not meant for everybody. It's not always easy. And if you can't put your patient's feelings above your own, if you are having a bad day and you are not the person who can put that aside because your patient needs you to be happy for them, then it's not your field. You need to be able to put your patient first, regardless of how bad your day is going. It doesn't sound right during your first semester. Get out. Yes. Because not, it's not going to get, it's not going to change. The field is the field. But your field's different, right? Because you're seeing the same patient Right. We over see and the over. same patient over and over and over. So if, if you, I mean, like if they had a bad experience the first time, oh. you're the same person they're going to see the next time. So <laughs> it's, it's not going to, the patients don't change. I mean, they do change, but you deal with the same patient over and over. So you grow to have a relationship with them. And my patients... I get Christmas cards from my patients. Like I love my patients. And if you can't like accept and like interact and like form that bond with patients, it's not the right field. Uh, yeah, absolutely. So huge difference there with diagnostic and therapy because mm-hmm. diagnostic it's, you might not see that person ever again. Oh, you know, yeah, right. It's 15 minutes and you know, you hope not to see them again because you don't want them to come back. Right. Like I don't, I want you to be good. I, mean, I tell my patients, I'm like, I'd love to see you again, but like in the grocery store or like if you're right. going to get a skin exam, you just stop and say hi. Like you don't, you don't have to have another skin cancer to come say hi. Right. Yes. <laughs> I'm here if you need me, but try not to need me. Your, uh, Instagram page is awesome. Um, if anybody wants to connect, um, how, how can they connect with Rachel Ward? I am at Rach the RTT. So very simple name. I mean, that's probably the best way to reach me. I mean, I tried to answer questions as much as I was getting a lot of questions on my normal account. So that's why I did create a radiation therapy account so that people didn't feel weird about reaching out to me because I was getting multiple DMS a week saying, Hey, I found you on a, you had posted this photo back when you were a student and I was wondering how it all worked out. And I'm like, 
yeah, no, I, I actually get these all the time. I'll answer whatever you got. And so I made a page specifically for that. And I try to keep all kinds of information up there. I'm trying to make it as informative as I can so that I can spread the word on this is what I do. And there are, especially for skin cancers that if you have a skin cancer, there is an uh, alternative option to just having it cut out. Right. So that's, that's how you find me. That's what I'm there for. <laughs> <laughs>